Hey guys, it's Chris and welcome to your second programming tutorial for Objective-C. Uh, in this one I'm just going to go into more detail about what's going on inside this uh, simple program that Xcode made for us. Uh, right at the top is an import statement and what it does is it imports a file from a part of your computer or any library that Xcode has. So this import statement is importing this foundation h file which contains a lot of essential classes and routines that Xcode uses and one of those routines is actually nslog which comes from the foundation file. The next little line we have here is the int main and basically don't worry about this stuff in here right now you don't need to worry about that for a while. The int main statement declares that everything in here is part of the main program which will be executed first out of the entire program but since we only have stuff in the main program it doesn't really matter now but once you get on to making bigger programs with more classes and files the int main will contain everything that you want to run first and it's contained in these two brackets right here next is your auto release pool and this basically tells your Mac to allocate some memory to whatever information and programming stuff is inside here all the code inside here will be allocated memory because of this statement right here and this also needs to have its code enclosed in brackets this little line right here is called a comment statement or a comment line and basically you can create one by doing two forward slashes and then anything after it is a comment and it will not be picked up by the compiler it's purely for programming use to document your code and make it easier to read Another way to do a comment is a forward slash and then an asterisk and then an asterisk and another forward slash. This is for multi-line comments, so it could go as many lines as you need. Next we have nslog, which is a routine that prints out whatever string is in here to the output console right down here. And so basically nslog takes in this string. So this string gets passed into nslog and then nslog routine passes it into the console. So we could change this and put whatever we want. How about, hi, I'm programming. And then it's going to compile and here we go. Hi, I'm programming. Pretty awesome. Next we have this return zero and this basically just tells your computer that everything went fine because when the computer gets zero returned that's that's like programming language for my program ran perfectly it returned zero everything went great once you get bigger programs you'll have parts that might return a different non-zero number and that's just saying my program didn't run well so I need to fix it so let's add another NS log don't forget the at sign. This makes it an ns string. All right, let's put second output and a colon because all colons need to follow your program statements. So let's run this. And oh no, it failed. Why did it fail? Ah, because right here, Objective C is a case sensitive language, so make sure your caps are all good. Here we go first output hi I'm programming and then second output pretty cool but what if you want to have one output and you want to have a big space like a carriage return you can't just press enter because then you'll get an error so what you've got to do is type slash n and then type your next line of code so let's do second line see what happens here we go hi I'm programming and then second line it's a carriage return from after the end of programming and another way you can do carriage returns is slash r it works exactly the same as slash n so it's really your choice we run that again build succeeded yay second line and third line all carriage returns work great let's even throw in a tab if you want to make a tab in your ns string just type in slash t tabs brah there we go. Tab worked right there. So that about wraps it up for this tutorial. 
uh, next tutorial I'll be going over variables and uh, simple mathematic functions. So that's it for this time. Thank you for watching.